Hi guys, hope everyone is fine. Everyone is doing great. Today we are going to talk about the harsh reality of life from zero to infinitive. Life is not very easy. It is the reality. It is not a cup of tea that you just have it or a cherry on the cake that you eat it and enjoy it. Life is very hard and at times life slaps you very hard. It slaps you so hard that you hit the rock bottom. It punches you so hard that you fall to on the ground and then there's just the count that you hear 10, 9, 8 and it may come down to even 0. At this moment, what are you going to do in your life? All of you all must have gone to this phase. Some have already passed this phase. Some are facing this phase and some will be facing this phase in the near future because life is not easy. Those who know me personally or those who know my experiences also know that after being a housewife for 14 years, though was, you know, teaching just for the sake of because I love the profession, I was in touch with teaching. But I did not take it as a career because things were pretty fine. Everything was going on very, very, very fine, alhamdulillah. And all of a sudden, life hit very hard. And there were some serious decisions we had to make and finally things got changed and my life went into a roller coaster spin and everything changed. And when life hits you and someone is telling you some motivation or you know or some sort of push has been given you, you don't understand my situation, what I'm going through. In fact, no one understands what we are going through. At that moment, you feel like that and that is a reality. You cannot deny it. Especially at this time when we all are hit with the virus of corona we have seen so many deaths we have every family has suffered some have the, lost their jobs some have lost their homes some have lost their uh, future plans some have lost their loved ones and that is a loss which no one can repair no one can actually it is irreparable no one can replace your loved one so if this slap, everyone has been receiving this slap and everyone has got this slap, how to get out of it? How to come out of this? I can tell all these things because I have also been a victim of things. I have been hit by life and I've come out of it. And I'm not the person who's going to tell you, oh, come on, you are a hero. You can do it. Yes, you can do it. Get up, run. This is life. No. This all happens in a three-hour movie where a child is born, he faces reality and then things go bad and then things become good and just a song and everything is fine, back to normal. It's not the reality. When all your plans are going, becoming zero or they go to negative, your life will not be comfortable. Your life will not be facing that same rosy situation. And somewhere or the other, we all connect, whether it is a man, it is a woman, especially in this time, even children, those who are stuck up in the house, they are not able to enjoy their school life. They are not able to enjoy their college life. They don't even know what is going on. They attend the lectures, but don't understand anything. All of a sudden, they have the exams, they just give it off. And then from one class, they are promoted to the other. Nor are the parents understanding, nor are people understanding what is going on. And time is passing very quickly. So now what next? You have two options. One is a negative path. Negative path, I call it like a matrix red and blue pill which you were seen. Okay, so the negative path is you blame the situation. You play a blame, uh, blame game. You withdraw. You go in depression. You keep on crying. You keep on cribbing. Men can go for smoking, then drinking. You withdraw. And then it is very difficult to come back from that situation and face life again and then stand on your feet and say, yes, I will be able to do it. So this was the negative part. Now the other one is the positive part. You're flat on the ground, knocked by your life. Next, you have to think instantly, I have to get up. That is the first step. You should be having that confidence that I have to get up and do something about it. Even that thought when you have, you are in the positive way and you have to be in the positive way. I'm not telling up to get up and run and conquer the world and take all the blah, blah, blah. No, all that motivation is not practically possible in life. 
you have to do it step by step at least you can start with the things which are there in your control there are many things in your control you get up in the morning you make your bed this is the first thing at least that will give you a satisfaction when you turn back i've done this and yes this is perfect clean the house room the house this is human tendency once you do the cleaning you have an internal satisfaction yes i've done something today so start with small daily steps which give you satisfaction and which will help you to come back and gain the confidence that yes you can do something in your life i have witnessed many of my colleagues those who have lost their uh, you know only earning member i've seen my neighbors this is a very tough time and we actually need to be positive and face life positively it's easy it's easy to say but then what are the things that we can do and i have made this video for this only we have to take baby steps towards coming up in life we have to take baby steps so that eventually we leap to the infinity from zero believe me moving and getting up and doing small things in your life will help you to eventually come up i don't say that grooming the house cleaning the house making your bed is going to get you a very good job and you will have that satisfaction no this is the first step of starting your things to become and have the situation in your control then you are going to do something which you eventually will be pulled out of enter again in the lights of your boxing ring and that big blow which has been given to you face it face it by doing small things one at a time you cannot be multitasking you have to concentrate even if you get a small job start with that job prove yourself over there finally when you are working hard when things are coming normal you will be able to land up in the place where you are thinking so you have to stay alive you have to breathe you have to live every day as a new one there are many things which can be handed over in your hand by nature because nature has given you that blow but you should be having that confidence in you that yes i will be able to face it i have to face it and there is no other alternative because i am the only person who can actually improvise myself you will win you will come from zero to infinity so with these small steps and i hope that these small steps will help you to eventually come up in life we all are running in the same situation some express it some don't express it some face it some don't face it some withdraw and some eventually win it be the winners take care and keep posted how this video helped you if you need any help you can post the post and i will reply to your comment take care of yourself jai hind